it was brought to my attention today um, some allegations made by a certain Natasha Apodi. Um, I, I didn't see it yesterday. Um, I was informed that it was made yesterday, but I saw it today. And um, I did a Facebook post uh, and also an Instagram post where I posted evidence. Uh, apparently, she said that uh, in 2014, during the state banquet for uh, the Kenyan president, Uhuru Kenyatta, that I had made a pass at her and had asked her for her phone number. Now, I mean, that's absolutely ridiculous because I gave evidence with my passport and this is the evidence I gave. Um, you can actually see it there. Um, you see, uh, I don't know if, you can see, if the camera can get it, but you see on April 28, 2014, I, I left Nigeria, got to the United States and I didn't return until, you see the stamp there, I didn't return until 23rd of June, 2014. I was on my annual leave, you know, so, and this is my passport. It's, it's, you see, it's a, a special passport, an official passport. That's my uh, photo there. You can see my photo there, actually. So, I mean, like, it's impossible that I would have been uh, at Asso Rock at the state banquet when this girl said um, I was there. And uh, apparently, I think um, maybe a syndicate, some people went and then they reported the post to Facebook. And so Facebook temporarily took it down. They're investigating it. I think they're saying, like, um, um, it violated one of their... Um, the tenets, you know, so obviously because you know what they do is that they get a bunch of their friends to go and report it and so you can see it now on Facebook and that's why I'm doing this video. It's up on Instagram and so you can still see it there and if Facebook doesn't restore it then it will be published on my This Day column. But I just wanted to, wanted to do this video because it's just ridiculous. You know, it's, I don't know why she even gave a date and said it happened during uh, the 2014 state banquet for President Uhuru Kenyatta. If she didn't put that date, if she didn't say that, if she had just said that I, I did it, you know, I would not have had any evidence to show that she was lying. And then people would have just believed her. And it's happened to several men, you know, where women just, you know, make all these uh, false allegations against them, you know. So I'm so glad that I had evidence to prove that she was lying. They've, uh, they've taken it down temporarily, but it's still up on Instagram and I'm doing this video and I'm also going to publish it. Uh, if uh, Facebook doesn't restore it, I'll publish it on my column on this day next week. This is Brandon Mokri. Thank you for watching. God bless you.